Perhaps you've seen this video online. It shows a man proudly showing off his cat, Almond, which was born in a tree last June and has remained living there ever since. To find out why this cat won't just come down from the tree, we talked to Dr. Katherine Haupt, Professor Emeritus of Animal Behavior at Cornell University. Cats tend to stay in their mother's territory, particularly female cats. And so this cat, during her sensitive period, which is two uh, to seven weeks, was in that tree. And so she doesn't have any reason to move, particularly because the gentleman is feeding her and giving her shelter so that she would have to overcome a lot of neophobia to leave that tree, and she doesn't have to. You often hear about cats that climb up trees and then they can't come back down and you have to call the fire department. But for every cat that does that, I think there are you know, 50 others who go up and down. So if the cat's not stuck up there, why won't it just come down? Well, I'm sure if it weren't being fed, it would eventually come down. It doesn't look as if it's too high up off the ground. Do you hear that, sir? Stop feeding the cat and it'll come down on its own. I'm not going to stop, no. No, and if I'm gone, there'll be somebody here to take care of the cat. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. I want to see how long it stays here. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas, and that's Almond the Cat Never Leaves His Tree Ever Explained.